In this video, I'm gonna be making a beat with the MPC One Plus, and I'm gonna be using the stock content available and also the stock plugins that are available once you update your unit. So these are the plugins that are available without buying anything extra. And I've got the standard MPC One content on here as well. So let's make a beat. So normally I would hook up a keyboard to be able to play along with this, but since I wanna focus on just using the MPC One Plus as a, a standalone box, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use the notes feature on here, which in order to do that, you hold shift, you press the 16 levels because it gets you notes. And then you can adjust the pads for playing tones and all that. So usually I do notes and we get to pick a key. Maybe we'll go C minor. So currently tube synth is selected. If we go sounds, we can choose other sounds. Uh, let's check out the Odyssey. Uh, maybe synths, classic brass. You can change octaves with the bank. So A is the lowest octave. B next up. Yeah. What else we got? Kind of like that. Let's go edit instruments so we can check out what's going on. How about the filter? Kind of want something like that. So I'm gonna go main, I'm gonna adjust this to make it four bars. And I think we'll just stick with 120 for now and maybe adjust the tempo later. Now what I wanna do is write some automation of the filter frequency. So I'm actually gonna stop and then hit play start and then adjust the filter frequency to get some movement in there as it plays. And now it's moving. I think we can do the resonance as well. After writing automation, you always make sure to tap that button again to go green. Otherwise, it will continue writing automation for anything that you adjust, which is probably not what you want. Now we're going to do a little adjustments to the sound. I think we'll go to insert effect number three and throw the Air Flavor in there. I always end up using Air Flavor Pro, but that's a paid plugin. Because I'm just using stock sounds in here, I'm gonna use the basic Air Flavor, which is limited, but still sounds really cool. Maybe old vinyl. Maybe adjust the flutter down a little bit. Cool, so we need some drums now. I'm gonna go browse. Let's find some kits, uh, maybe search, maybe the urban kits. Oh wait, we gotta go the squares for the programs. Kinda like this filthy kit. So we're gonna go to track two. We're gonna close this window right here. We're gonna hit the drum programs right here. You always have program 001 loaded up when you first load up a project. So you select this, scroll it on over, you got your kit. It's a bit loud, so I'm gonna adjust this down. In fact, these two sounds right here are like a bit much. So what I did was I hit program edit, and in each one of these pads you can select to adjust the particular sound. If I go envelope filter, this is the second selection of the page, envelope amp, envelope filter, I can now adjust a filter. So this first part right here, I can choose what filter, let's say like low four, and then I can sweep the cutoff. Take a little bit of that crunch off. You can also use some of these model ones, like model three. Let's sweep the cutoff. You know, there's options right there. You also have effects, so you can add individual effects to the particular sound. You can also go to the next page for drum effects, which is nice. So you got tube drives, like basically presets that are loaded up in here. Maybe take out a little bit of low. Soft clip. 
And if that's too loud, the gain reduces it. Which is nice. What about this ring mod? It's kind of nice dirtying it. To adjust individual volume of a pad, you go to the global side and then level. Kind of want to throw like a delay or something on here. Let's go the diffuse delay. Turn the feedback down. Sweep up the low cut. And drop the mix and lower the width. Yeah, I'm just going to try something. Okay, so this kick, I kind of want to shorten it a bit. So I went to the envelope amp. That's maybe a little too much. So, you know, it's not taking up as much space. We can even do that to the snare. Next up, I think I'm gonna load up drum synth. So if we go to the plugins, by the way, if you don't know, this main area right here for the tracks it decides what type of module is used for the particular track. Because you have drum programs right here, then you have plugins, which are software instruments essentially in the MPC. Then you have key groups where it takes one sample or multiple samples and stretches them across a keyboard. And then you have clip programs, which are basically loops that you can trigger in these uh, clip style. And then you have MIDI. You can use the MIDI ports in the back or you can plug in USB devices and then they'll basically show up right here for the MIDI port. Uh, then you also have the CV gate for your modular gear. So if you have modular gear and send them out the back, you can then adjust the ports for CV gate and all that stuff. So very useful. But what we're going to go to is the plugin. We're going to hit sounds again. Oh, wait, actually, we are in the Dorma. This is very easy to do. You can screw this up. If you just go to plugins, it will usually select the first plugin. And that is currently this sound. We don't want to overwrite that. So you always have to do new plugin. So go new plugin. Plug in two, and then you go sounds, and now drum synth. Let's go drum synth and do the whole multi kit. Maybe urban. It's trap. It sound great. Let's get a little note repeat going here. So if I double tap note repeat, it latches. You can also alternatively just hold shift, and it'll latch that way. So shift like that, but uh, the double tap is the shortcut for a lot of these things. Yeah, let's try this. I'm gonna do a new track for some claps. Also for this, I'm gonna adjust the timing. So this TC button, you click that and then you have your timing controls. You can turn it on or off or you can adjust the strength specifically. And I like to adjust this down to say 50 to kind of tighten things up, but also give a little bit of uh, feel to it. So. I think I'll throw this snare in as well. Do another track for this. So, you know, we'll name track four clap, just so we know. And then track five is gonna be additional snare. Got a little shaker thing right here. We're gonna say snare on this. Snare, another track. Shaker, we'll call this shaker. Let's do it. And again, that was all with the timing with the 50% strength in there, so we retains a little bit of humanistic feel in there. If you've been enjoying this content and want to support the channel beyond a like and subscribe, consider using our affiliate links. Our affiliate choice is Zounds. We've been using them for years. And if you purchase any gear through our links, through Zounds, then it helps out the channel. So thank you very much. Uh, let's go to the next track. I'm going to go plugin plus plugin to give me a new plugin. I'm going to hit sounds and let's go to the hype synth. What's this?
Maybe choir. Let's go up an octave. Some options there. Smooth phase. Ooh. I think we'll use Heaven Choir to lay something down. I think we need eight bars, so we're going to hit this little pencil for the sequence and double link once again, so we have eight bars total. And let's make a choir sound. Cool, so we did a little improv there, kind of worked out. I need to add some effects to this choir sound because it's very like out there right now. In fact, let's actually take a look at the plugin. And on top of that, let's solo it so we're only hearing that. Let's take the cutoff. Yeah. Distortion? Oh, we need to add distortion. There we go. I was like, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Add a lot of reverb. And how about the pumper? I'm gonna add just a hint of the pumper for um, dynamics right there, because it is kind of like static right now. And we're gonna do something else about that in a bit, and I'll show you, which is really cool. Reverb, let's get this time up. Drop the mix. I think this kind of works. Um, let's go diffuse delay as well. Change this up. A lot of feedback, 100% diffusion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put air flavor on here. See what other kind of sauce we can get. So too much monofy. Let's hear with the mix. Pretty cool. Let's make a pump. What you want to do is tie it to the kick, obviously, right? So in order to do that easily in the MPC environment, there is a trick that is awesome. So if you have a drum program with your kick like this, you can hit program edit and then go over to effects and there's no effects currently on the kick. So what you can do is just say like effect number one, we go down to dynamics, scroll all the way down to mother ducker input. So this kick now is feeding the input to bus one of the mother ducker. Now what we do is go over to our track, our choir, let's name this choir. And after air flavor, we are going to insert mother ducker, like so. Now, if you look at this, it tells you which input you want and bus one is what we want. And got ratio, attack, threshold, knee, release, all that stuff's now. It's automatically starting to pump. So let's take off the auto gain and adjust this. Maybe increase the release. 
of the game. Maybe too much gain. And move up the release so it's just not as effective. So you can see right here the reduction that's happening. So we adjusted the threshold, adjusted the release, adjusted the gain, took off auto, and now this thing is pumping a bit more. We can also start adding that to other things too. Like we can go to this original synth, this guy right here, and we could actually do it before air flavor. Mother Ducker. I think this one we don't want to have as effective. Just a little bit. Cool, that's working. So we're gonna to go to track eight. We're, uh, we're in plugins right now, MSA new plugin. By the way, you can have up to eight plugins total when you're in the standalone hardware version. Keep that in mind when you're on the PC version, the software version, unlimited plugins and also VSTs and audio units. So I'm gonna hit sounds for a baseline. I could go to baseline. Well, that's pretty obvious. I guess we'll do that thump, soft thumper. Down an octave. Not sure if this is gonna work. Let's try it though. edit this. I think we'll just throw some effects on here. First off, let's go to harmonic and go air distortion. Let's go soft, reduce the drive a bit. So without, with, just give it a bit more bite. And I think 100% of that. Take off some of the high end. So stereo. Well, let's put stereo on. Okay, off. More polite. So we lose dynamics with that, but we're gonna put dynamics in with the mother ducker. So let's do that. Dynamics. Mother Ducker. Now currently the Mother Ducker is gonna have nothing because it's, you know, it's not no audio is going to the bus. So let's take this off. Another plug-in, please. And let's go Mellotron, maybe a flute, floating flute. Ooh. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna turn it up in volume. So I can hear it. And we're gonna go eight bars again, or 16 bars. And I think I'm gonna take the timing down even further. So the strength is just going to barely correct it because I want this relatively loose. Actually, no, let's just take the strength off or the timing correction off. Let's try it.
turn this down. Cool. We need to apply some effects. Let's actually add the pumper and obviously take it down because it's too much. So a little bit of movements in there. Let's actually try distortion as well. Just a little. And let's throw the flavor on there. What vocals? I don't like how muffled that got. Let's go. Let's change that up. Maybe keys again. Old times. And finally, the Mother Ducker. in our main bus but you know during a mix bring everything down so we put a limiter on there gave a little gain took some ceiling off that's what we got Making a beat with stock sounds in the MPC One Plus with only the MPC One Plus. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to support the channel further using our affiliate links for anything from purchasing an MPC to buying cables and all that definitely helps out. So links below. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another one. Peace.